Hey everyone, you're in for a real treat today. Something big is about to go down. So we just arrived here, and just in time too, because they've got something, something very big and massive, purring like a kitten. It might be a Detroit. There's something very, very incredible about what's inside of that building. Lots and lots of really neat, unique iron, but not only that, the 747 Big Bud, and they're pulling it out right now. Let's go watch. Isn't that something? This is the world's biggest farm tractor ever produced. In 1976, they started producing it. 1977, they finished it. That's an old tractor. And it's, at, I think about 11, about 1100 horsepower is what it's rated at right now. That's awesome. That is just awesome. That's American muscle right there, if you ask me. So this is Scott here. He's a buddy of mine. Yeah, Scott. We're two Scots. Two Scots. But I have a better nickname than he does. But anyways, what do we got going on right here? Uh, so this, this is the 1400 30R46 Elka. That's the largest ag tire in the world right there. They go on the big bike. Isn't that something? They're putting, they're taking these old suckers off, which are rotted and just, you can't save them. There's nothing you can do about it. And they're putting some new shoes on it. What is this, like Nike or is this Adidas or? Yeah, I like the thing more of a, maybe a Skechers? Uh, Under Armour. Oh, Under Armour. oh, Under Armour. Under Armour. Before we built steps on our tractors, we kind of modified ours just a little bit. Ours used to have three steps to get up. This has seven steps. These tires are over 18, or eight feet tall. And I stand next to it, you can tell right now, I'm a short little guy. Well, let's take a walk up the stairs. Wow, this is just amazing. The opportunity right now, I'm just like, okay, do you ever feel like a little skitty, like a schoolgirl that's really giddy? That's me right now. I can't even talk, I'm stuttering. And this cab here is actually the same kind of cab as we have on ours. It looks so tiny compared to this whole entire tractor. Let's step inside. It's amazing to me. I look around in this cab and it looks just like our tractors. Everything about this feels just like ours. Except for one thing, when I look outside the cab and I start looking around, this thing's massive. It's huge. I mean, I'm just sitting in, inside this massive tank. People outside look smaller because, well, I'm not used to sitting so high. And I look around and the wheelbase on this thing and just how, I, I don't know how to describe it, it's just, it's a one of a kind, which is truly the truth. It's absolutely phenomenal to see that there is history here that has a story to tell. And the story is that, you know, if there's a will, there's a way. And if there's a need, we'll try to make it happen. And they made it happen. They realized that there was a need for a big tracker like this. They built one and it left it at that. But still to this day, like I said before, this thing is still the world's largest agriculture tractor. If you guys don't know, this is the world's largest tractor, the Big Bud 747. This tractor is the world's largest ag tractor. And it's been the world's largest for over 40 years. And it is getting the world's largest ag tires from Titan Tires. These are the LSW 1400s. It's getting eight of them, eight of them. And it's happening today. We're here in Iowa and uh, the process started. So uh, enjoy the fun. Let's get these tires on this girl. And guess what? We get to drive it when it's done. Let's go. Where has that crane been all our lives? Man, that would make life a little easier. But we have leg arms, so we'll save the money. Just keep feeding him.
you guys can think of a way for me to get this tractor from the Williams Brothers, please let me know. Leave in a comment below. I don't know. Think of something. We gotta find a way. There's a way. Gotta be. These tires could be anywhere from five to 6,000 pounds roughly. So they're gonna use this massive front end loader here to pull off those tires. So if you look inside here, they've got these braces going down the tube. That way, as it flexes, it can't actually warp or twist and because you don't really want, well, there's a lot of mass on that tractor. So they really beef this up. This is probably a one inch plate and I'm guessing probably quarter inch thick sidewalls. And then they've got a, about a half inch plates strips going down in here. They're pretty stout. Are you serious right now? They let him drive the forklift? You know what? The sun's in my eyes, the brakes are really touchy, and the throttle's way too touchy too. So, and, and these Toyota. levers, they just, there's too much slop. So, I'm and doing a good Toyota. job. And it's Toyota. We get asked all the time on Welker Farms, do we own the world's biggest tractor? Do we own the 747? No, we don't. I'll tell you who does. Those two gentlemen in the white over there do. That's uh, Robert and Randy Williams. Those guys, I've owned this tractor for a number of years. They've been a part of the Big Bud scene since the beginning. They were good friends with a lot of the Big Bud team, and uh, they're awesome. If you guys don't know them, I recommend find, checking them out, shaking their hand. They've done some cool stuff, really neat guys, and uh, they're gonna take good care of this tractor. And they're bringing it back to Montana. So, And they're about an hour and a half from where I live. So I suppose I need to make a trip to their farm one of these days. But yeah, Robert and Randy, it's been a pleasure hanging out with them. Good people. and. Uh, they represent Montana and America well. And that track is a good fit, the whole thing. So, as you can see, they're getting interviewed. They should. They need a little publicity. This is their baby, not mine. They have these duels to take off. They already got these off. And if we want to look at this final drive or the planetaries, they're incredibly big. If you take the diameter from the outside to outside, you're guessing probably without a tape measure, uh, two and a half, maybe three feet from outside to outside. Just to give you an idea, that's a big one. Okay. Mr. Scott Sloan, he is the guy that made this all happen from Titan Tires, and uh, he's one of the masterminds behind the LSW 1400s. And he took the helm. He didn't like leg arms making him look bad, so he's gonna jump and run the forklift. He'll be fine. This guy's awesome. The sun's in my eyes. Sun's oh, in my sun's eyes. Sun in your eyes again? Eyes. Oh, this I, break, this break the, the, really it's a break. Changed. Is it's that really break bothering you? Your, your arms are too big, yeah. just don't really fit in this cab. Yeah. <laughs> leg arm excuses. Wait, are you are you saying even with the sun and the bad brakes? The, the, the bad brakes, the sun, and I don't even have a hat on, first of all. First, so that the, the sun's even worse. And you got it on the first yep. drive. And actually I had one arm behind my back and one eye closed when I did that, so. <clears throat> what now? I am ashamed of myself and I can't believe I, oh, I need to be fired. That shirt should not be on you. I'm not taking it off. <laughs> Last set of duels going on. That's seven tires, man. That's a lot of rubber. And they just about have all the old tires on the trailer. They got one duel to put on. Other than that, 
strapped up. They're gonna take that back to Montana. But <coughs> these guys are doing a good job. There's rain coming this afternoon too, so they're kind of hurrying up to get it done. So uh, we can go drive it. <laughs> Pretty awesome. So I've got a question here for these young guys. What do you think about the Big Bud 747 and the new shoes? It's cool. Yeah, it is yeah. pretty cool. You give a thumbs up or like? Yeah. Thumbs up. Yeah, double thumbs. Double, double thumbs? Yeah. We have the last tire we put on. And then it's done, right? Come on. Come on. He's making it. I don't have any kibbles and bits for him though. Damn, those things are just massive tires. Just love how big of a footprint those things are. Okay, she's done. <laughs> all eight tires are on this monster and they look awesome. Hey, 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 what are you guys all doing over there? Oh, there? no. Oh, hey, get, oh, get oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Geez. Come on over here. This hey, guy. You guys. Huh? Well, it, we are guys. Thank we were all. trying to figure out how we get this out of here without you seeing it, but. All right, let me <laughs> in here. Yeah. So, we have the Williams brothers. Yeah. Yes. That's these, us. And these guys have been threatening us the entire time we've been here. here. Saying that we need to get out of here. <laughs> You've just been trying. Well, now to we get... know you're our neighbors, you know, yes, in Montana. Are. And so. the thing, the big thing is, is W. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, our names are with W. And you guys can adopt us if you want. That's fine. Oh, we do. All right. Yeah, you you, you can be yes. Williamses if you can want. Can we? Yeah. 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 Cool. That's right. <laughs> How long have you guys had this tractor? Well, I guess since uh, 97. Since 97, yep. So, 97. what, 12, 14 years. You know? Wow. But you were there when it was built. We were there, yep, yeah. yep. We actually on the floor and we've got pictures. So, this is the second set of tires you've seen put on this thing. Yeah. Right? Absolutely. The very, yeah. First one, <laughs> very first one. Wow, that's pretty good for 40 years. Yeah. yeah. Are, are these going to make it 40 years? Well, I'm uh, sure they will make yeah, it 40 sure. years. I doubt if it's hard. Of to course use. they I'm will. Not good, but they will. Well, I don't know. Titan could make us new tread. What yeah. about we LSW 1600? Yeah. We could have a brain transplant. Right? Oh, yeah. We've been looking at it. I got <laughs> half Maybe. of it. Yeah. 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 So All I right. think where the plan is now, I think someone gets to turn the key. Is that you or you? Or he both turns you? the key. I'm you, the navigator. You, so you, you write, He's the driver, I'm the navigator. Oh, you, you write the checks, he turns the keys? The, the brains behind the whole thing is that guy. Is this no, guy? no, no, no. <laughs> uh, no. The, the bronze? Yeah, that's right. So I got, well, a, I got a watch for guy wires and pedestrians. cars and pedestrians. And, and we and decided drones. that if anyone gets killed, crushed, it's going to be and, Titan's fault. And Titan's fault. <laughs> they're right. they're like, yeah, and this they got, got high, tires. It's got a high speed gear too, so if you need to get away, you can get out really. Right, we right. can kick your clear up to 12 mile an hour. Right? There's hardly oh, yeah. any compassion not for now, compassion with these things. You're not going to lower profile. Yeah, yeah we might have lost a half you mile an hour. We'll keep a low profile while we're going down. Yeah, three quarters. Yeah. It's low profile. Find a steep hill. And the poor old Wagner's over there. Goodbye to us. Is that oh, yeah. that's not your guys's? Yeah. Oh, well, that's yours too. We just brought it here. Oh, we sold it to Larry. Oh, that's the one. Oh wow. Yeah. Let's. Oh, this is nothing. Let's go to the. Oh, so came on the truck. <laughs> All right. Well, we let's start it up. Yeah. All right. I'm down to that. Let's go start it. Rocking.
your honest opinion, what do you guys think? Awesome. I don't think it could turn out any better than it did. This is an exciting day because this tractor has not really taken a good, well, jog in a long time. And it's doing it finally. This is just awesome. Now let's find out how much this sucker weighs with all those, uh, well, the tires off and the weight wheels on. So I'm excited to find out. This is absolutely incredible. Standing on the outside of the thing, it has such a beautiful purr with that V16 Detroit. And it just, it just sounds great. And not only does it sound great, but this ride was just incredible. Of course, we're only going like seven miles an hour. But still, I mean, come on, it was incredible. But that thing just, wow. That is a massive tractor. You don't realize how massive it is until you get onto a street and then you realize it takes up the whole entire road. Absolutely incredible, guys. Oh, that's a pretty sweet ending of the day. Old glory shining over. American made iron, American made rubber, American made engine transmission. Different generations, but it all started here. It's cool to see happen. These guys worked their tail off putting those on and man, it looks good. And uh, I don't know if I'm gonna get a chance to drive it today. They promised me. I'll hold it to them. But this thing's coming to Montana. And uh, guess who else lives in Montana? There we have it guys, LSW 1400s on the Big Bud 747. That was exciting and fun to see. A history in the making. Well, this is history and we were also in the making too. So that was fun, yeah, exciting. It was a riot, it was a riot. It's I hot, would, it was a riot. It, it's really humid right now, we're like dying. But oh. to see this thing in person, to hear it run, to see it drive with those big tires on it was just awesome. Yeah, and I think I don't know what we're gonna do when we get home. The other bells, the buds are gonna smell this bud on us. Yeah. So we're taking yeah. double showers tonight. Yeah. Uh, so I don't know. <laughs> they might not accept us back. Yeah. yeah. Lava I mean, soap. Scrub everything down. It's all good. <laughs> yeah, it's been a ride. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. I got a feeling we're gonna be seeing this thing again, probably in a field. Yes. Yeah. So. So God tuned. bless. Take care.